New day of October, new creepypasta video. This one, going for Jane the Killer. The ever so famous enemy of Jeff the Killer. Who? Actually, the video for Jeff the Killer went up two days ago. Now, Jane the Killer is going up. You will learn more about her backstory after the actual intro. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, now we're going into the backstory and lore for Jane. For my. I feel like my voice just cracked for a second. <laughs> anyway, backstory and lore for Jane the Killer. Now, uh, might as well just go with the casual Wikipedia. Alright, uh. So Jane the Killer, don't go to sleep, you won't wake up. Jane the Killer's most famous quote. Jane Richardson, more commonly known as Jane the Killer, is the protagonist anti-hero of the creepypasta story Born of Science, Jane the Killer, and other stories such as Jane's Letter. Originally, she was a serial killer who killed people to spare them from being victims of Jeff the Killer. As of now, as of now, she has been revised to be a more heroic character and has dedicated herself to hunt down and murder the famous and formal serial killer, Jeff the Killer, for murdering her parents. Uh, origin Jane Richardson started off as your typical girl, the talk of the town who's got it all, a lovely girlfriend, a job she enjoys, excellent friends, an amazing family, and a promising future. But in 2006, her world came crashing down when both her parents, Paula and Bruce Richardson, were brutally murdered by the wanted murderer, Jeff the Killer, leaving Jane to have to work more and earn extra money to support herself and to support her sister. Uh, flash forward to two years later, the government chose twin, uh, Jane after 25 failed attempts, the test subjects died, to hopefully be the one person to survive an injection of liquid hate. Liquid hate is a very risky chemical formula that could hopefully power up a human's senses and overall abilities, so the number of serial killers could be slowed down. Subjects would experience violent episodes. Fucking all these freaking advertisements keep moving the freaking screen. Uh, where was it? Oh yeah. Uh, su subjects would experience violent episodes and homicidal tendencies for the first minute and thirty seconds but would act and appear normal once the episode ceased. Jane, needing extra money to support herself and her sister, and believing that she was merely donating blood, agreed. Jane proved to be the first person to survive the injection, which caused her peach skin color to become pale white, and her hair to become black along with her eyes. Now, Jane has decided to use her newfound abilities to dedicate herself to capturing and taking the life of the man who ruined hers. Jeff the Killer. Appearance. Before being injected with liquid hate, Jane appeared to have blonde hair and ocean blue eyes. Huh. Interesting. Along with fair, peachy skin. After... <sighs> After her transformation as a side effect of the liquid hate injection, Jane's skin turned ivory white and her previously blonde hair and blue eyes turned coal black, retinas and all. Despite this, she, was, she still has perfect 20-20 vision, she is mostly depicted wearing a black dress and high heels, and sometimes black stockings. 
Other illustrations of Jane sometimes depict her wearing black jeans, black hoodie and undershirt, and black sneakers. A casual night in that one's like casual night in the town. Jane was once a kind-hearted, spirited young woman who wanted nothing more than to make her family happy. After her transformation, she still manages to contain her caring and happy nature, but when angered, she is more wrathful, ruthless, and violent. However, this is only towards criminals, rapists, and serial killers who, contrary to popular belief, are her actual targets, as unlike Jeff, she doesn't murder innocent people. Powers and Abilities Due to the effects of liquid hate, Jane gained supernatural abilities from the substance such as increased strength, speed, stamina, healing, agility, and stealth. Other results include increased alcohol, drug, and Tabasco tolerant. Uh, I said Tabasco! <laughs> I'm, I'm working. I work too much. <laughs> we have Tabasco at work. <laughs> tobacco. Tolerance, increased metabolism, running faster than a track athlete on steroids, accelerated healing, limb regeneration, focal mimicry, and shape shifting. S I'm sorry. Excuse me. Did not know that. Okay. Jane is also a highly charismatic and intelligent woman, often seen seducing criminals into getting information before killing them. Smart girl. Uh, facts. Oh, tss. <laughs> I saw that one. <laughs> ah, my headphones. Jane Richardson was created by Fear of the Black Wolf. Contrary to popular belief, Jane Arkansas, the story about a teenage girl who got burned and attended the same school as Jeff, is not the original Jane the Killer or the canon version. Jane Richardson, created by DeviantArt user Fear of the Black Wolf, is the true Jane the Killer. Jane Arkansas is an alternate interpretation of the character despite being more widespread and known. Jane Richardson predated this version chronologically. Jane is a lesbian married to a woman named Mary Vaughn. It is literally impossible for her to have a romantic attraction to Jeff, which she wouldn't have anyway because he's a serial killer who murdered her parents and ruined her life. Makes sense. She's originally from Orange County, California. Okay. Her current location is Van Nuys, Los Angeles, USA. Jane also has citizenship for other countries, including France, Britain, Ireland, Iceland, Switzerland, Chile, and Tuvalu. Her birthday is on September 1st, 1985. At the time of the story, Jeff the Killer was on the FBI's most wanted list when he killed Jane's parents. The LAPD attempted to track him down to no avail, so they turned to the FBI for help, who requested the assistance of the CIA. The CIA sought for the creation of Liquid Hate alongside the Department of Justice. The CIA's goals were to create a perfect task force of anti-killers. The Liquid Hate was funded by the American Science Association. The funding totaled out to be $6.9 million. Uh, after becoming Jane the Killer, Jane became an assassin working for the government. 
Not only is she actively trying to hunt down and kill Jeff the Killer, she also eradicates any other criminal who needs to be removed from society. As a professional assassin, Jane Richardson's total net worth is $222 million? Wow. That's a lot. Jane has a younger sister named Jessie Richardson. Jane also has several other living relatives. Jane is not a threat. While she may have experienced homicidal urges during the first 90 seconds of her transformation, she eventually calmed down and is currently a snarky, ruthless, yet kind-hearted person who is willing to rid the world of evil. However, due to her abilities, she can be violent and wrathful if irritated. Jane is one of the few creepypasta villains who isn't a murderous psychopath or demonic creature since her only real goal is to kill Jeff. That makes sense. I mean, during when I was looking at Ben Drown, there was a little couple of two pieces of fan art in the comment section, so I'm just scrolling through real quick to see if there's any for Jane. Nope? Okay. Wait, what's this one? Okay, yeah, I think that's pretty much the closest we're going to get to seeing the Gene the Killer picture. Actually, hold up. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh... Real quick, I'm going to see... I mean, to be fair, wait. This is like the closest we could get to seeing what she actually looks like. But as far as fan art goes, I mean, you got that one right. Uh, this one right here, because this one's pretty close to being, uh, this is actually one of the more popular pieces of fan art for Jane the Killer. Uh, you have this one right here. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I never saw that one before. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I love that. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm going to remember that cuz that's fucking hilarious. All right. I think we I think that's pretty much it for Jane the Killer. Hey you. Yes you, behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022 there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.